Hi everybody, I'm Jack, and this is Raw Tropical Living. Thanks for joining me today. I'm doing an early video this morning because I'm about to go down to Pensacola here in a little bit and see if I can talk face-to-face. -face. I'm better at talking people into things face-to-face, -face and uh, I'm going to see if I can get some sort of credit for my ticket to Costa Rica since I'm not going to be using it next week. Um, so I just needed to go ahead and do a video before I left. Um, anyhow, I want to talk today about the raw food diet new focus and redirecting energy. Um, I do videos every day, so if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button now, then be sure and click on the little bell and check send notifications, uh, because uh, I found recently like I had been unsubscribed or I wasn't getting notifications from some channels I was subscribed to. Um, yeah, it is what it is. If you didn't see my recent video, my plans have changed a little bit. My mother's had a health issue. Um, thanks for the comments and the asking about her. Um, it's not life-threatening. It's just my mom's old. She's 87. Uh, might be getting to that part of life where she's not able to do so much on her own. We're just going to see. Anyhow, I don't, I'm not going to know a lot for, you know, I'm not going to know the long-term extent of how how long I'll be here for some time. But anyhow, just decided, you know, um, as soon as I figured out I wasn't going to Costa Rica immediately, I just started working on another mindset, another, okay, another uh, area of focus. Okay, what am I gonna do? I planned on taking this channel, taking the blog all over, kind of a travel uh, raw thing. Eh, now the focus will just be a little bit different. I'll try to get out. Um, you know, it's not like I'm going to have to be at this house uh, all the time. It's not like I've got, I'm a caretaker. Um, I'm just, you know, here making sure my mom's all right. But I'm thinking I'll get away, you know, I'll get away on some little short trips um, anyway. So I'll try to get down to the Gulf Coast. Um, some different scenery for doing these videos, in other words. As far as the food part of it goes, I'm just going to kind of um, focus on seeing how much I can simulate how I would eat in the tropics. I mean, we're coming into the warmer time of the year. There's more fruits available. Since I'm not going back down to Costa Rica, I'll probably loosen up and spend a little bit of money. I was actually looking at um, the price on ordering uh, Mammy Sapotes yesterday. I know those Martha's Best Papayas. I'm going to have to order a couple at this time. But yeah, you know, just with what's around, and I'm getting really good mango right now. I've got my bananas. I got my oranges. I got my mangoes. Um, I get a decent papaya every once in a while. I'm just going to see if I can eat as close to what I would have eaten down there as possible. Also going to get back on my green game a little bit more serious and be pay more attention. I'm going to kind of like switch into another phase of my eating. And you guys all know that I go up and down. I go through different phases. No fat, low fat, this, adding this, just fruit, just this. But I'm going to start adding the green, like the greens more regularly again. I'm probably get focused a little bit more on the, I haven't been adding fat, very much fat at all this year or so. I need to get back on um, some of those ratios, like uh, using my chia seeds and smoothies again, because probably, even though I'm not eating a lot of fat, probably all my sources are omega-6. So I want to just, you know, tighten up a little bit on that. As far as um, other things go, like I, one of the real focuses of my trip was to go down there and uh, get back into my yoga practice or in the asana part of my yoga practice, uh, the poses. Um, so that's something, yeah, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit disappointed about, and I'm not the best in the world about discipline, disciplining myself and having a regular practice. So just like I'm always telling people, we'll just do this with the food, do that with the food. I've got something to work on about myself, um, because if I'm not going back down there and I'm just turned 54 years old. I don't want to put any. I don't want to kind of keep putting off this. You know, I want to get. I need to get back to my mat, and I need to get back to my mat in a serious way. I never really even took that thing to the level I wanted I, to the level of my practice that I really wanted to go. So I'm going to explore the my yoga practice a lot more dif, uh, deeply. And if it takes doing it just like I did, um, getting my meditation practice going, that's what I'll do. I'll just roll out the mat every day and I'll go stand on it. And maybe one day I'll do one sun salutation. I think I'll do more than that. But the, per the point being is just setting that habit, setting that intention, putting my mat, getting my mat out there every day and getting on my mat every day and just, you know, 
going from there. Plus two, I might, uh, I never did it because, you know, this was always just going to be temporary, but I might uh, find a teacher down in Pensacola or something, drop into a class, um, you know, as a little bit to help me and my self-study because there's plenty of resources out there. Besides all the free stuff she puts out on her channel, uh, Michelle, uh, Banana Blondie 108, I'm a member of uh, her and Jay's site, Thriving Plant Based, and she's like, God, she must have, I don't know how many full yoga workouts over there, so I'm going to use that. Um, I've got a whole series of, uh, a great explanation of the primary series of Ashtanga by Kino McGregor, so uh, no excuses. I got plenty of resources. I got the space. Time to get to it. Um, I don't know. We'll see about the other physical. Um, I would love to get outside and get more active and maybe do something more than just going to the gym, but the pollen kills me here. Might have to get a neti pot or something so I can, uh, you know, clear that out. Because I would like to get outside. I was looking at some bikes yesterday. I'd, I'd, I'd like to add another aspect of, um, of uh, the physical fitness. More cardio, but more... I don't know, something to do. I used to like running. I don't really want to get back into running, start running again at my age because I'm sorry, if you're a runner, I know y'all love your running. I, I, I used to enjoy running, but to start it over again, it's just, it's high impact. It's not the greatest on the knees and ankles. So maybe a bike, but um, I want to train. I want to train. I want to like uh, really uh, kind of, just kind of keep my time busy don't have the idle hands. I'm going to double down on my uh, on the physical and also too I'm going to double down on the work. If I'm going to be here just you know put my head down make it count. You know work, work out, do yoga, stay physical, keep my days busy, don't have a lot of time to think about you know just don't have a lot of time to get into my own head. Just basically keep myself occupied. Um, I I've, I've developed some sloppy habits, lazy habits here, being in this particular house, because I just don't have the dynamic I used to have. I'm not outside like I used to be. I, I, have, the, I, have, a, I have a slack, lazy period for about two hours when I first get up in the morning, because there's not that natural inclination to, to go out the door. When I was in Costa Rica, first, you know, when I'd wake up, I'd go outside. Even in the mountains, you know, I'd be outside walking around the property. When I was in Haco at the beach, I'd go out and I'd walk all over town. So I need to do something. And I'm just kind of redefining uh, what I'm doing here. And I'm kind of uh, working on my daily routines and how I do things. But we'll see how this goes. Who knows? Three months from now, I might be back down in Costa Rica. Um, I may not. Life is life. It's an, it's a, you know, that's what makes it interesting, seeing what's going to happen. But anyhow, um, it, we're, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I was ready to shake the channel up with the Costa Rica videos, but I'm going to shake them up here. Like I say, we'll go down to the Gulf Coast a little bit. Um, I'll try to get outside a bit more. If I'm in my town, I hate getting outside, especially this time of year, because there's just noise everywhere. Noise, 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 because everybody's always doing their yard or there's some sort of machinery or downtown there's heavy machinery, but we'll have some fun. We'll have some fun. Something's going to happen this spring and summer, so stay tuned. Keep watching. Come back tomorrow. If you like this one, please give me a thumbs up, and y'all have a good day. Peace.